Welcome to Caseware Quick Vids. This Quick Vid demonstrates how to update client files in Caseware Audit. This video will cover the process for updating client files in a non Smart Sync environment and updating client files in a Smart Sync environment. The update process provides a simple to use method of updating each engagement file. Depending on the stage of the engagement process, professional judgment should be used when choosing to update all or parts of the client file. We strongly recommend that the update not be applied to a file after the engagement has been started for the year, as any work completed may be lost in the updated documents. Through the update process, you can choose to update functionality when a new version of the template is made available, mapping and groupings, the AO General Options document to update or apply default settings, case view and external documents to add new documents, delete outdated documents, or update the existing documents, and the work program and checklist documents to update all procedures. We will now go ahead and update a client file in a non SmartSync environment. When there is an update available, a notification balloon appears after launching the engagement file. The notification will be near the top left of the window. Click within the notification balloon to start the update process. Alternatively, you can also click Check for Updates from the Update menu located in the status bar near the bottom right of the window. An Update from Template Notification dialog appears and displays a list of the components and documents to be updated. In this dialog, you have four options. Yes, to continue with the update. No, to ignore the current update for the engagement file, in which case the notification balloon will not appear until another update is detected. However, the update can be manually performed by clicking Check for Updates. Never, to ignore the current and all future updates for the engagement file, but an update can still be manually performed and cancel to postpone the update. In this case, the notification will reappear each time the client file is opened. I will go ahead with the update. If a new version of the template is available, the template update dialog appears. Click update to update the client file to this version of the template. Note that during the update process, a backup dialog may appear. This enables you to backup your client file before continuing with the process. For this example, I will click Cancel. My update only has updates to documents and procedures. However, if the mapping or grouping structures have changed, the Groupings dialog appears listing the structures that have changed. An example of this dialog is displayed on screen. Click the Update checkbox to include the selection in the update, or click NA to indicate that it is not applicable and exclude it from the update. Click the Update button to perform the Mapping and Grouping Structure update or click Skip to skip this step for now. Likewise, if general settings have changed, the Settings dialog appears. Again, I do not have any general settings to update, but an example of this dialog is displayed on screen. Click Update to update all settings or click Skip to skip this step for now. If documents have been added, deleted, or changed as part of the update, the document dialog appears. To provide a more meaningful count, the counts for new, updated, and deleted documents filter out those that are not applicable. The sign-off state is also displayed during the update process where applicable. For each document in the update, choose to add, delete, or update the document by selecting the relevant checkbox. You can also select NA to exclude the document from the update. To view all the documents available in the document library, select the checkbox Show NA. Again, click the Update button to continue with the update or skip the step by clicking Skip. I will accept all documents, meaning I will add 10 documents, delete 2 documents, and update 1 document. Because I am deleting documents, a warning dialog appears asking if I am sure I would like to delete these. I will go ahead and click Yes. If work programs or checklists contain new or updated procedures, the Procedures dialog appears. In this dialog, click NA to ignore the procedure update if it is not applicable, or click Update to update all procedures in the work program or checklist. You will see whether the procedure is new or updated based on the columns displayed on screen. 
Note that you may see yellow or red exclamation icons. The yellow icons indicate that there are procedures updated which have been signed off, while the red icons indicate that there are new or updated procedures and the whole document has been signed off already. I will go ahead and update these. The update begins and a dialog appears with information about the progress of the update. Once it is finished, a message will appear indicating that the update is complete. If you are working in a SmartSync environment, to update a client file, you will need to use one of two methods to ensure that your client file is updated properly. The first method is to return the SmartSync file to a non-sync state and then proceed with the update. The second method is applicable for when you are using a SmartSync server or cloud to synchronize your client file. This method involves eliminating all synchronized copies except for the top-level parent and one synchronized child. Then perform the client file update on the synchronized child. The final step is using the Replace Server Copy feature to replace the top-level parent file on the server with the child copy just updated. For more information on these methods, see the Working Papers online help. This concludes the quick vid on updating client files in Caseware Audit. For additional resources, including documentation and online help, see the related links in the video description. Thank you for watching Caseware Quick Vids.